inverters. There are a lot of inverters out there with different sine waves and different wattages. If you're thinking about getting an inverter, there are a number of things to consider when choosing the right one for you. What device needs powering? What are my wattage requirements? And how long am I going to run my devices for? Also, which cables should I use, etc. In this video, we are going to take a deeper look into inverters so that we can help you answer the questions and help you find the perfect device. What is an inverter? An inverter is a device which takes DC power from your car battery and converts it into AC power like the wall outlet in your house. These are great devices for those with on-the-go lifestyles. They can basically be used for any appliance that uses AC power. You want to charge your laptop from your car? Power inverter. You want to spice up your camping trip with a few blended drinks? Power inverter. Use a CPAP machine on the go? Power inverter. We have all kinds of people using wagon tech inverters, including police departments, ambulance crews, and even civil services. What are the different kinds of inverters? Inverters come in two different types, modified sine wave and pure sine wave. Pure sine wave inverters are ideal. This is the natural sine wave and is actually the same sine wave as the power in your house. Therefore, it will work with any device. Since the voltage rises and falls smoothly, it will not cause heat buildup and does not add stress to electronic devices, allowing them to work as intended. The alternative to pure sine wave is modified or square sine wave. This is a manufactured sine wave. This sine wave has abrupt rises and falls and has long periods of rest at zero volts. This type of change means that some devices are incompatible with the sine wave and it can add electrical noise and heat buildup. All this really means is if you are using a more sensitive electronic device like medical devices, printers, computers, or things with clocks or oscillation or a fluorescent light, you want to use a pure sine wave inverter. Otherwise, modified sine wave is still a great choice. What are my wattage requirements? So now that we understand the types of inverters, let's look at the size of them. Our inverters range from the modest 400 watts to a whopping 10,000 watts. To know which inverter is good fit for you, you would need to know how much wattage you're actually going to be using. If you aren't sure, you can always check the label on your device, which will have that information. If your device does not list the wattage and instead lists the amps and volts, that's easy to convert. You simply need to multiply the volts times the amps and that equals your watts. Take this lamp for example. It has listed 120 volts and 0.5 amps. If we multiply that together, we get 60 watts. So now you know the wattage, but that's only for one device. If you plug in more than one device, you just simply add the wattages together. If I use this lamp at 60 watts, and this laptop at 50 watts, and this air purifier at 5 watts, that's a total of 115 watts. You may think, okay, well, I'll get a 115 watt inverter, but that's not quite right. If you have a 115 watt load and a 115 watt inverter, that's like driving your car at full speed at all times. It's going to be taxing on your car. Therefore, we recommend a 20% buffer for all inverters. So just add 20% to your required wattage and you'll get the appropriate size inverter. How long are you running it for? Okay, so now you know which sine wave and which size inverter you need. It's important to remember that the inverter is only part of the equation when it comes to the power ecosystem. Whatever you power with your inverter is going to be doing a lot of work and depending on the power requirements, it's going to determine how long your device will run for. The benefit of choosing a wagon tech inverter is that all of our inverters have unlimited runtime. As long as there is a source of power, the inverter can run. Wagon tech also features true rated power. Whenever you see our inverters, you can rest assured that they are tested at full load and will sustain that continuous load for at least 24 hours. Other inverters can start at full load, but will drop as much as 25% over time. True rated power means that the wattage we print on our inverters is the actual output you will get from it for 24 hours, guaranteed. Now knowing the inverter will sustain its load, understanding your battery bank size will determine how long it will run for. To do this, you will need to calculate your amp hours. You can probably find your amp hours listed on your battery, but if that's not the case, it's easy to calculate. Let's start by finding its watt hours. Watt hours are found by multiplying the wattage by the number of hours. If we use the lamp from before, it is 60 watts. So after one hour, that means it's consumed 60 watt hours. Amp hours are found by dividing the volts of the battery by the watt hours. Most batteries are 12 volt, so 60 watt hours divided by 12 volts equals 5 amp hours. If I want to run the device for 10 hours, I will need a battery with 50 amp hours. 
At this point, we know which sine wave to use, which size inverter, the wattage requirements, and the amp hours, and how long the device will run for. The only thing left is connecting the device to the battery. When you connect your inverter, you need to make sure that the cables running the current are the correct size. Now, in terms of an inverter, the cables are like the pipe, the electricity is like the water. If you're using too small of a cable, that current is gonna be flowing way too fast through it, which is gonna cause excessive heat buildup and possibly damage your inverter. To get the ideal cable gauge, Wagon Tech has provided a helpful chart which you can reference to select the correct cables. The link will be in the description. You can also utilize multiple cables to share the electrical load and make sure that not one cable is being overtaxed. In addition, Wagon Tech also provides fuses in various sizes to ensure your safety and to protect the device from any short circuiting or surges. Again, take a look at the chart to find the correct fuse for your application. How do you utilize my inverter? Now that you have the necessary tools in order to select the perfect inverter, introducing your inverter to your power ecosystem is a great way to power your devices anywhere. If you're looking to boost battery life and thus your inverter, you can check out Wagon Tech's DC to DC chargers. These devices use your car's alternator to recharge your auxiliary battery and can be used in conjunction with a solar panel to provide power when stationary for endless charging and extended battery life. More power for your battery means more power for your inverter and more power for your devices. More power for you. As a final safety measure, you should always make sure that your cables are nice and tidy. Wires running on certain parts of your engine can cause damage not only to your devices, but to your car as well. Wow, so that's a lot of information, but that's the end of our inverter video. Did we answer all your questions? Be sure to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos and upcoming products. I'm Justin from Wagon Tech, and I'll see you next time.